Okay, so we're going to invest. This is a, a little system I built myself, and it uses a, a small mixing bowl, and you can only do two of the little flasks at once. So what we're going to do is, depending on the kind of investment you have, it's either going to have directions that come with it, or you're going to have to go to the website and see what they say as far as uh, how much water you need and how much investment. So I've got it all figured out for what I use. Um, so I've got the water in here. I'm just using room temperature water. And then I've got uh, my investment. Now, if I wasn't doing a video, I would wear a respirator. And in fact, I'd get a better one than this. Uh, this is kind of a, a cheaper one, but um, get a good respirator because it's not, this stuff is uh, all silica and you don't want to breathe it in. So this is weighed out. And I'm going to, hopefully you can see this. Maybe if I turn it. It'll also tell you on the website how long you should mix it for. So you got to start out slow here because you don't want to splash it around. And you'll also find that depending on your, if you're dry or humid, that it, I find it can affect the consistency a little bit. Know how well you can see this but I can't mix with my left hand so so really over a minute maybe a minute to three minutes for mixing you want to make sure you pull it around get the stuff off the side get the stuff off the bottom Set it down. To me, this seems just a little bit, it's not quite thick enough, in my opinion, just based on, you know, it could just have to do with our weather. Uh, so I'm just going to add a little bit to it. I'm sure a lot of people are going to frown on this, but, you know, you do this for 38 years and you just get kind of a a feel for what it should look like. Okay, we're going to set that down. We're going to put this in here. Put the top on, start the vacuum. Now I don't let this part run too long. So I'm going to set this back down. Turn it off. Take that off. Now we've got our two flasks here. And so I don't want to pour it directly onto, let's see if I can do it with my left hand, onto the wax. You want to pour it so it kind of goes down the side. If you pour it on top of the wax, you stand a chance of breaking the wax off. And you don't want to pour it too high because when you, when you put it in there to draw out the bubbles, uh, sometimes it can go up over the side.
So you're going to need a little extra in the bowl uh, for after this part. Make sure that valve is up and closed. Well, that went great. What I like to do, some of it's gone up and it's kind of on the tape. And so I'm gonna add just a little more to the top. Okay, that's that. We're all done. So you don't want to disturb this. You want it to uh, completely harden. It's probably going to take, well, I'll let it harden for an hour, and then I'll pull the bottoms off. And then after that, I'm going to let it harden another hour. Um, and actually, I'll let it harden overnight. And then tomorrow, I'll show you how to prep the flasks. And uh, then we'll put them in the steamer. And after that point, we'll move on to uh, the burnout. Okay, that's it.